Yo viewers, this is Ryuma Kuro here and today I have some Diablo free content for you. To be more precise, a build that I thought of. And its name is a God of Thunder Stunning. Or a Thunder Stunning God. Choose which one you prefer, I can decide which sounds better. So, up to the point. What this build is all about? Well, it's about permanent stunning. Just like the immortal tank, but with the difference that it's for range attacks also. So you can stun enemies from wherever you stand. Though the chance increases the closer they are to you. So what so the skill is well of course electrocute as it's as it will base on the lightning uh, damage because of the passive paralyzes which gives you the 8% chance to stun enemies for one and a half second or two seconds depends on the game language I'm not sure which one is actual is the right one but never mind that that means you have to do 12.5 attacks per two seconds or per one and a half second that's hard and that's one of the main reasons why this build is so fucking expensive to be able to DPS a lot. Even though you will be able to DPS a lot. Even with the shitty gear I have. So up to, up to the next point. The main thing of that is with Electrocute can deal a lot of damage and stun enemies but to further increase the chance of stunning you will have the shock armor the storm armor sorry with the shocking aspect which means whenever you crit damage the armor itself will strike nearby enemies and that means if you're fighting against one enemy you're critting crit you you'll do a critical damage then you then the armor will strike with a lightning damage again that further increase the chance to stun enemy that's the main point of it stunning perma stunning so they don't have a chance to strike you but of course even even though I have still one very controversial skill it still can be you still have a high chance to not stun enemy so to give you survivability you'll be using the of course the ultimate survival skill of the wizard which is the diamond skin with the crystal shell rune that's quite that was to be expected but of, aside from that the another survival ability skill is not the illusions and so on and so on it's the wave of force and it's not the controversial one this is just something you should you would not expect but when you use the wave of force in the impactful wave which stuns enemies for two seconds I repeat it stuns enemies for two seconds that means, even if your lightnings won't stun, the wave of force will stun. And it will blow them away, kick them away, whichever way you want to say it. So, uh, another skill of the entire is, well, the familiar for increased DPS. Since the electrocute is forward striking, almost. But the familiar will be a good uh, uh, DPS adder, and with the spark flint, it just increases by 12% entire thing. And the most controversial skill of all is the magic weapon. And not because of that skill; it's because of the rune I'll be using. The rune is electrify, and the reason why I did it is because. It gives you a chance to strike three enemies 
with a lightning. That deals only 10% damage, but it's lightning damage. Lightning based damage. And that gives you another chance to stun enemies. And that is something we want in this build. And the more lightning based damage you have, the better. And of course, I know the affix for the electric kit is quite low. So it won't be so so you won't be able to stun them so often without insane attack speed which most of you probably know that it, you will need the shunter the set for that insane attack speed but there's also the sh lightning that comes from the armor which has a high fx compared to electrocute and that itself with good crit is like an auto kill it will auto kill all those scraps little they just single one coming and it dies it just dies from the lightning itself and that's a very very nice thing you just don't have to worry about little things you just don't that's the great thing about this build and the next thing great is that you can actually have some do have some fun with the wizard because the light when you when you go in a group of many mo mobs you just the the amount of the lightnings that comes is so insane it's just spectacular it's seriously like uh, Lord Sidious from Star Wars with its lightning from the fingers but make it 10 of them striking at the same time that's about what you ex experience and what you can see so the order of the skills is also important because when they get close use the wave of force to kick them back but when you're fighting a ranged enemy and use the diamond skin to survive and get close to them. When you get closer and your diamond skin is off, then you use the wave of force to stun them. When they unstand, you can count for your stun, so the lightning will stun them again. But if it's not, then you should have the diamond skin. And to be able to have the diamond skin available at that moment, you need to have the critical mass passive which with each crit, crit done should uh, decrease the timer on your cooldowns by one second of course with the electric it's low effect it, low fx it's not it won't be that easy to do but it's not that hard seriously with a lot of enemies you can spam wave of force by just electrocuting once or twice and your armor also deals that critical damage so sometimes you can just spam wave of force constantly with the diamond skin you can just spam and spam spam and you don't even realize that you just have to keep in mind that there has to be a lot of enemies around for for this to work that way because it, if there won't be much then it may be a bit problem but like I said diamond skin and wave of force are there for survivability wave of force also with that extra DPS so I'll show you the gear that I have and I want to tell you that I'll be upgrading it and I will show how it will work with each of the shunter the set and so on but because I want to master it and make it a real mp10 soloing build that you can kill almost anything because you will be perma stunning them without with do with quite nice dps to it so with my stats right now as you can see I'm having 1.51 attacks Per seconds, 33 crit chance, reses at about 700, 
and life per second 705 and 1015 with the armor uh, on and that's pretty shitty so my want ring uh, gloves shoulders Dandariel visage of course some armor with some reses all belt with some all reses of course that's, and that's the most important thing it should be not noted that you should have all reses on almost everything when you're playing a wizard even though you know 1000 reses you won't be doing much DPS but with high enough reses you will be able to survive easily so like I, like I said before electrocute for lightning wave of force impactful wave familiar spark flame diamond skin crystal shell storm armor shotgun aspect magic weapon electrify and the main thing of this build which is the paralysis the critical and the critical mass which helps in your survivability skills and the galvanize using one for galvanizing world for those who want or you can choose glass cannon if you have high re reses or the evocations if you want quicker cooldowns and here's something for all those damn fucking rushers that rush through the map and think that only elites can drop legendaries well here you have enjoy and see ya Did you?